Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cassie Johnson and my channel is all about helping to teach you how to have a successful Etsy plus print on demand business from the comfort of your own home. In the last two years, I was able to quit my full-time job and now make a full-time income selling shirts on Etsy. To date, I've sold over $560,000 worth of shirts on Etsy. And so today, I'd like to go over what print provider that I prefer and compare them to the other big popular one out there. So in today's video, we will be comparing Printify and Printful. I know there's been a lot of Printful versus Printify videos done in the past, and most of them focus very heavily on the quality differences between the two. But in this video, I wanted to focus more on what the biggest determining factor for myself was in when choosing which one to go with, and that is the price difference. So first I'll tell you a little bit about each company in case you're not familiar, and then I'll show you a identical shirt that I got printed at each of the companies so you can see the quality for yourself. But make sure to stay until the end because I'm going to go over what the actual price difference is between using the two companies and then I'm going to do a fun case study of what I would have made last year if I had used Printful instead of Printify for the 13,067 items that I sold in 2021. And now would be a great time to go ahead and like this video or subscribe if you haven't already and you've been enjoying my content. It helps my little channel more than you could know and I appreciate each and every one of you. So starting off with Printful, Printful is their very own print on demand company. So you go to Printful's website and they're the company that if you order from them will actually print your t-shirt. They have lots of different types of items available. They have t-shirts, they have hats, they have home decor, accessories, and so on. So tons of great options to make for your items. In today's video, we will be comparing the Bella and Canvas 3001 shirt. This is a very popular shirt in print on demand, and Printful has it available in lots of different colors here. And then moving over to Printify, so you can know what the difference between the two is. Printify is actually just a website that brings together thousands of different printers from across the country. So Printify doesn't actually print anything themselves. They just house all these different print companies' products. So they have over 500 products available as well, anywhere from stickers to t-shirts to blankets, phone accessories, pillows, masks, and so on. So tons of great options for your print-on-demand business. But again, today we are focusing on the Bella and Canvas 3001 shirt. And so that shirt with Printify, there are lots of different print providers that offer this t-shirt. I did do a video review of eight of these different print providers. Lots of them have different color options available. I'll link that video down below so you can check out the breakdown of all eight of the print providers and which one I think is best for you to sell in if you decide to use Printify. But as you can see here, it's not Printful versus Printify. It's Printful versus all of these over 15 different print companies that you can choose for your own business. So on to the actual quality of the t-shirts. So here's the photo from my video review of the eight different print providers from Printify. So I ordered eight different black Bellin canvas shirts and put the exact same PNG on each and every one of them. So you can see there are some differences between some print providers, like this one here doesn't look quite as nice as the one next to it, but the majority of them are going to be perfectly acceptable and gorgeous for your customer. If you hadn't seen them side by side and you ordered one of these, you'd probably be more than happy to get the majority of these ones shown in the picture. So after making that video, I went ahead and ordered the exact same t-shirt from Printful. So I do have that here today as well. So here is the actual shirt in size medium. And you can see the colors are very great. It does have a very vinegary smell, so I'm sure that'll come out in the wash, but I didn't have that with any of Printify's, so I just thought it was something interesting. So great color, really nice quality, 
the print feels very nice and then I'll go ahead and pull it up on the screen to compare it to the ones that I have from Printify side by side so here is the Printful shirt put next to all of the Printify shirts so as you can see here this one is compared to awkward styles I'd say they look almost identical in the actual printing whereas some of the ones like here in the bottom corner monster digital does have a little bit more of a washed out look when printed on black the printful version did show up quite a bit brighter don't pay attention to the size of the print because that was something that i did on accident i made this one a little bit smaller but you can definitely see the difference but again if you had never seen that one this one is still cute looking as well but again the awkward style version this one here and a couple of these others were just as bright and just as nice looking as Printify so it's the quality depending on the print provider is very very comparable so both companies have really great customer service and stand behind their product when there are printing issues which you can't expect anyone to be perfect. Both companies have issues from time to time, but I have seen that both companies will fix the error if there is one. So I'd say they are tied as far as that goes. So really now that does leave us with what I said in the beginning, and that is the price difference. So like I said, I did a case study that if I sold the same 13,067 items that I sold in 2021 from Printful instead of Printify, what that profit difference would be between the two. Now I didn't sell literally 13,000 medium Bella and Canvas shirts, so these are not my exact numbers from last year, but I think this will be the easiest way to compare what it would mean when you're selling a larger amount of items. So starting first with Printful's pricing, the Bellen Canvas medium shirt in black costs $12.95 plus $3.99 in shipping. So the total cost normally for this shirt is $16.94 shipped to your customer. To be fair though, Printful does actually offer monthly discounts that you have to qualify for every single month where you actually get a discount on your total number of orders. So anywhere from selling 1,000 to 2.K per month at 5%, all the way up to over 10K per month, you get 9% as a discount, and it doesn't go up until after you sell 20K and you have to message them to get that discount. So what I calculated was if I sold the 13,067 items at the $16.94 in the year, and so I would have qualified for the platinum discount every month of that 9% discount. So that would actually bring the t-shirt cost instead of $12.95 down to $11.78 then plus shipping. So our total cost for the shirt would be $15.77 from Printful if we got that 9% discount every month of the whole year. So coming over here to my profit calculator, if we sold our shirts for $24.99, which is what I like to sell my shirts for, then if I had the cost of Printful shirt at $15.77, then after Etsy fees, our total profit per shirt would have been $6.40 per shirt after the Etsy fees. So before any other expenses, if we sold 13,067 medium black Bella shirts from Printful, then we would have made $83,628.80 in profit. So let's compare now to Printify. So my favorite print company on Printify personally is Monster Digital, and I do pay for their Printify Premium, which is $299 per year, which is about $25 per month, or it is $29 per month if you pay monthly, and this gives you a couple dollar discount on every single item that you sell. So feel free to take that $300 off of the year if you'd want to include that, but it is a tiny difference to get the discount. So, so taking a look at Printify's pricing, you can see here from Monster Digital, which is my preferred print provider, the black Bellin canvas shirt in size medium is $8.57 plus $4 in shipping. So the total cost for that shirt is $12.57. So coming back over to the profit calculator, if our cost for the shirt was $12.57 and we sold it at $24.99, 
Then after the Etsy fees, we would make $9.60 per shirt sold. So if we take that $9.60 profit and times it by the 13,067 items that I sold in 2021, then the total profit would have been 125,443.20 cents. That is almost a $42,000 difference in the profit between using Printful and Printify. Just for comparison's sake, I also wanted to compare to if you had used Awkward Styles on Printify. They are one of the more expensive print companies available. Their shirts cost $10.33 for the Black Bella shirt in size medium, and their shipping is $4.80. So the total cost for their shirts is $15.13. So you'd make $7.04 profit with an Awkward Style shirt. And so total for the same 13,067 items, you would have made $91,991 in profit with using awkward styles and selling that much. Again, compared to Printful's $83,628, it's still quite a large difference between the two print providers. I do have a link in the description below to sign up for Printify if you have not checked them out already. It does help to support my channel when you use the links down in the description. So thank you to everyone who's used those already. I hope you found a lot of value in this video and that it helped you decide which print provider is right for you in your business. I do still answer every single question put into the comments of my YouTube videos, so feel free to comment down below if you enjoyed this video or if you have any questions or concerns for yourself. I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching calls available in the description below if you'd like advice on how to switch from Printful to Printify, see if your shop is on the right track, how to grow if you feel like you're at a plateau, or I do even offer private shop reviews as well if you'd like me to take a look and give you any pointers on how you could improve or maybe why you're not getting sales right now. Please consider subscribing if you've been enjoying my videos so far or if you found this helpful. I appreciate you staying all the way until the end and we'll see you in the next one.